Hi guys, my name is Tom and in this video I'm going to show you the new wireless video transmitter system that I got from Holyland. It's the Mars 400S. So I've already reviewed a whole bunch of wireless video systems from this brand. Uh, you know, f overall they, they produce good quality products, well built and all that stuff. This is like the latest, I would say, sort of uh, good entry model uh, kind of a system for, for anybody out there looking for wireless video transmission. Uh, and the, the kind of the cool uh, little function that it has is that it's, it, you can send signal between the transmitter and the receiver, but you can also send it to wireless devices such as cell phones or tablets. First, maybe before I show you how it actually operates, I'll just kind of go through uh, just the build of it and the different kind of functionality you have on these. They're made out of uh, metal, they're nice and solid, so you know they're not going to break on you. But what really kind of first struck me right away when I took it out of the box is that uh, they're fairly small, thin, uh, and, and actually fairly light, even though they're, they're so solidly built. So it's actually one of the smallest wireless video systems, uh, or at least ones that have like professional features that I've used so far. Now to power these, uh, you can do it two ways. Uh, you can use the DC port, that both of these have, and there is actually an AC adapter for this. Uh, and you can use many of the standard ones because it uses 6 to, what is it, 16 volts actually DC, so has a nice nice range. Uh, most of you guys though are probably going to be using batteries with these, so it's, you know, more portable. And uh, both the transmitter and the receivers have uh, L-series battery plates built into them, uh, which is good because they're easy to find batteries and, and also very affordable. Uh, these will transmit a 1080p signal at 60 frames per second uh, up to 400 feet, uh, an open line of sight, obviously and given that there's no interference and things like that. And you guys can see some of the other systems that I've reviewed from this company and pretty much whatever they, they set the rating at, whether it's 400, 500 or 1000 feet, that's really what I've gotten in my long range test. So uh, right now, I they don't really want to kind of go through the trouble of going outside, especially with the current situation with the virus and everything. Uh, and me testing the, the long range, but uh, I, I can tell you honestly, yeah, it works at that, at that range. Now again, that's open line of sight, kind of ideal conditions. If you have interference or walls in between, things like that, obviously the signal will be diminished. Uh, as far as the inputs, uh, both of them uh, have actually an SDA in and out and then an HDMI in and out, uh, which is cool also because they're cross convertible. So you can go from, a, let's say, HDMI signal to uh, SDI and vice versa. And otherwise, when it comes here to the front, you'll notice both the transmitter and the receivers have uh, these three buttons and a little LCD display, which allow you to, to change all the different settings and the channels. So let me plug this in and show you guys how it performs. So here I have the transmitter uh, connected through actually an a monitor that's being fed through my uh, my B camera here, my close-up camera. So there's obviously, and it's all HDMI, so there's obviously going to be some inherently built-in uh, slight delay with because of the HDMI protocol. And then also the receiver is connected through HDMI to the monitor. Uh, but you guys can kind of see the, the difference in the, in the delay, uh, you know, what's there, even with all this kind of a signal splitting going on here. So in short, the latency is very minimal and it's perfectly suitable uh, to use the system for critical focus pulling. Uh, if that's what you're going to be using this for, let's say if you have the, the camera on a gimbal or a steady cam or something like that, or somewhere, somewhere basically where you can't, can't reach it, uh, then you can have your first AC pull focus with this very easily. Now while you are using the, the transmitter and the receiver to get this basic best quality signal, like I mentioned before, you can actually also uh, transmit the signal to four uh, wireless devices, tablets or phones and things like that, anything that, that is going to receive a Wi-Fi signal. Uh, and you do that by downloading an app, which is both for Android and iOS. Now, because it is Wi-Fi, there is obviously going to be a slightly more of a delay uh, than if you're using the transmitter and the receiver. But again, this is for secondary viewing. So let's say if you have a client who wants to look at the, uh, you know, what you're recording or somebody else, whatever, behind the scenes who wants to see what's happening, uh, they can use that. But if you want to use something for critical focusing and all that stuff, you can always use the, the normal transmitter receiver to get the best kind of latency. Now to connect one of the mobile devices, it's pretty straightforward. You have here, uh, you know, inside their app, once you install it, you have a little connect thing. And then you basically point it here at this little, uh, uh, you know, here QR code on the back of the transmitter. 
Now the really cool thing about the app is that it kind of turns your mobile device into a professional monitor because you can tap here on the screen and you have all these different functions here on the bottom. So you can, for example, have your uh, waveform, uh, you can have your histogram, focus peaking, you have uh, different frames that you can get and you can like hold these down and you'll have different settings pop up for each of these functions. Um, but for example, you can also enable zooming so you can quickly check your focus on different parts of the frame. Uh, another thing you have is here you have uh, even a false color and you can even look at just the different uh, color channels so red green and thing plus you can even load in LUTs uh, which is pretty cool like I said it basically turns your mobile device into uh, like a professional monitor with all these functions and they're all cu customizable and things like that now as far as the delay you can kind of see this is how it looks uh, is there more delay than thing uh, than the monitor I guess right now I'm looking at it to me it almost looks like it's the same as this monitor but again that's mainly going to be because of the, the fact that I have this HDMI signal going through another HDMI splitter and things like that so uh, if you were to directly connect the, the transmitter to the, and then the receivers to the basically using one HDMI cable then this will be slightly faster but yeah really cool you can uh, take like a snapshot here or record even a video of, of what you're seeing up here on this app so Really, really cool kind of functionality that this, um, yeah, that this app will give you. And like I said, it, it just means now that with just this one kit, even though you only have one transmitter, one receiver, you can technically send it out to five screens. So you can have five different people watching the signal. Now, one thing to keep in mind, actually, is that if you were to get another receiver, like an actual, you know, HDMI or SDI receiver, and you were to connect two of those receivers, then the, uh, the the transmitter will not be able to send out. I guess it doesn't doesn't have enough bandwidth. Uh, but basically, it, uh, the Wi-Fi functionality then doesn't work. So this will only work if you're not connected to any device, like another basically transmitter, or if you're connected to only one. If you're connected to two, which you can do, but like I said, in that case, you're losing the Wi-Fi functionality. Just something to keep in mind. Now, another thing you notice when going through the settings here uh, is that they have these different scenes. So there's three different scenes. Uh, image, balance, and then the speed mode. So basically what that means is you can adjust the signal whether, let's say, you care about having maybe not the best quality signal being sent to your transmitter, uh, but maybe the fastest signal, so the, the less, uh, you know, delay, uh, then you can you would set it to speed. Versus, for example, if you don't care about having slightly higher latency, but you want the sharpest, clearest signal, uh, the most detail in the resolution, then you can set it to, uh, uh, to image. Or you can set it to balance, which kind of finds like I, you know, somewhere in between uh, the t the two settings. So it's kind of cool that you can actually do this. So for example, right now I'm going to select the speed mode, and you can just kind of see what kind of a delay is there. So yeah, I think it's it has improved. Now the quality of the signal, to be honest, I don't see that much of a difference. But anyways, now I'm going to go and go, again go to the scene mode and select now the image. So now it's sending the best quality image but there's, uh, I guess, slightly more delay. Again, it's so small, uh, the, the, uh, the latency, that it's, it's very hard to, uh, to actually notice a big difference. But, but it is there, you have that setting. Now on the receiver, you'll actually have a slightly different menu. Obviously, you can also uh, change the channels like you can on the transmitter, but you'll notice you have here a channel scan. And with that, what it's actually going to do is it's going to scan all the different frequencies on the different channels that it's able to operate. And it's going to show you the channel with the least interference for the location that you're going to be in. So this way, before you actually start recording or working basically on, on that location, you can always do that quick scan. And you can make sure that you're basically choosing the, the signal or the, the channel that's going to be the clearest with the least um, amount of interference. And it's a really cool function, again, built into something, you know, this small and basically an entry level, an entry level cost uh, system. Now the last thing to kind of keep in mind is that there are actually two little vents here on top of the both transmitters and the receivers. Uh, they're, um, they're, they don't, I noticed that the fans don't kick in right away. It's only once you start feeling that the, the metal body kind of gets a little bit warm. It never gets hot, but you feel a little warmth. That's when you hear those fans kick in. Now I can only hear them, with, um, you know, like basically this close. Uh, so I have a microphone like up here about a foot away from my mouth. So very close, just off camera. So I'm going to put this and let you guys hear it and see if you guys can notice any difference. And then here I'll take it away. 
So yeah, just something to keep in mind. But again, I doubt that you're ever going to have a microphone a few inches away from the the transmitter on the receiver. But just wanted to let you guys be aware of that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, pretty cool. Like I said, great affordable entry system, uh, basically for any videographer, filmmaker out there, whoever wants to have right away with one kit the ability to send a signal to up to five different screens. Uh, something that's small, light, portable, good on batteries, uh, and uh, affordable above all. So as always, if you guys want the uh, latest deals, prices, and where you guys can get this, then uh, just follow the links down in the description of this video or head on over to my website at tomantosfilms.com. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.